Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the new feature we have on the adjust page. Um, I've stopped my stitching one repeat from the end of the row of this pantograph because I want to check to see if I've if the pattern is going to stitch too far or it needs stretching out to stitch so it will complete this, this piece of fabric. So I've just paused the stitching. So now up here on the screen I'm going to touch adjust. This is taking me to the adjust sequence page and it says touch a dashed line and drag it to the desired position. Right now I can't see any dashed lines so I need to go zoom on, zoom full so I can see the whole quilt and now I can see all the dashed lines and I'll turn the zoom off. It's the right hand edge that I'm concerned with and I can already see that the dashed line is a little bit inside the pattern. I'm going to touch that right hand edge dashed line and it's going to turn red. Um, you probably can't see that on the video but it did turn red. So now down here, here's our new tool. It says distance from needle 13.34 inches. The green crosshairs show where my needle is and it's saying it's 13.34 inches from my needle to that dashed line that I touched. So I, in order to know whether I need to adjust the pattern or not, I need to know the distance from my needle to the edge of the quilt. So I'm going to lay down a ruler, put the zero next to the needle. Let's put it up there so it doesn't interfere with my clamp. All right. Zero is next to my needle and I'm looking at the right hand side to see what distance um, I can stitch to. And I, it looks like 14 inches will be okay. 14 inches. So now I'm going to go back up to my screen. I'm going to touch distance from needle and the little keypad pops up. So I'm going to touch the keypad. I'm going to enter 14 inches. And I'm going to touch enter. And the little dashed line moved out. Um, let me zoom in so you can see, or so I can see too. Okay, zoom in. Let's pan over a bit. Okay. There you can see the dash line a bit more clearly. You can see the actual end of my pattern is well inside that 14 inches. So that's okay. Um, if I wanted to stretch it out so that it the end was touching that 14 inches, then I'll come back down here to where it says mode. I will touch mode. Then I will touch the plus sign. Your previous clipping will be lost. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Uh, now I'm in mode tweak. So it can drag out. So I can um, drag out the pattern and make it longer. Let's zoom in again. As you can see. You see how it's now the uh, end is right over that dashed line. Let's touch the dashed line. Turn it red again just so you can see. If I move that out, the end moved over there. I'm going back down here. My distance from needle button appeared when I touched that dashed line. It wasn't there until I touched the dashed line. And it says distance from needle 14.02. I'm remembering I said 14 inches. So I can either just nudge it in with the, with the arrows. If I want to enter the distance, then I'll touch the button touch the keypad, enter my 14 inches and IQ adjusts the pattern. When I'm finished, I hit finished and then I can start sewing again. So that's the new tool for distance from needle. It's really useful because I don't have to cut the thread. I can measure how, how much I need to adjust that pattern by without actually cutting the thread. Okay, have fun using it.